I know you're a concrete guy, but a lot of these concrete guys that I'm talking to are also doing fences and carports. Do you do that as well? Um, yeah. I mean, we typically just sub that out right now. Okay. I got you. Well, I'm going to just go ahead and throw this out there. You have an unfair advantage because you got like the Texas accent, which you totally need to overplay. I have, I have this buddy named Kyle and he's from Utah, right. but he sounds like he was literally born in like Tyler, Texas. Like any, he, he has, he, he wears the handlebar mustache. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> you gotta play this up. People love him, dude, because in home services, you're dealing with like a lot of people, Ford trucks, cowboy hats whatever yeah he was slaying it because people are like oh and he's talking guns and he's got the accent i'm like dude i'm looking like the yeah. guy trying to steal their money with the slick back hair and you like got it man so you got to play into that dude it's sick yeah definitely growing the stash out for it. it's a strategy so, okay, so concrete in what city houston okay so that houston and i'll, I'll be next is that cool yeah that's fine all right cool you ready yeah all right hey this is nick with uh nick's concrete how you doing Hey, Nick, this is Marcus. Uh, do you do concrete over here in Houston? Yeah, yeah, we do. Well, are you looking for decorative or like flat work or what? I'm actually seeing, I'm trying to see if I can find a guy that can do driveways. We get a lot of leads for driveways right now. Okay. We can't take care of them. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, we do driveways. What, what uh, are you, you got this home advisor or like? Oh, no, no, no. This is, uh, so I'm, I've been getting concrete leads for a while. And uh, I've got a crew for it right now. We're working it right now, but we're moving up towards Houston right now. And we don't have guys that are connected up there. So I'm trying to see if I can establish a relationship, a partnership with you where I can just send those calls to you or I can have my team intake the calls and we'll upload it into a system and you can follow up and schedule on your time. Okay. But what is your schedule like? Are you, you just have one crew? Um, yeah, we just have one crew, but we, I mean, we can get jobs pretty quick. So, I mean, what, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So how are you getting all of your leads right now? Um, most of our stuff is like word of mouth. And then I think we're paying for, um, like we have something going on with Google. I, I, my, my office manager deals with that. I got you. I got you. So, I mean, are you trying to go bigger than, than just word of mouth? Are you trying to, you know, dominate in your area? Like what? How many yeah. crews do you want to have? Um, I mean, ideally, we want to get another crew by, you know, July or so. July. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm probably going to be sending you at this point. Uh, it's going to go up, of course, with the season. But right now, I can only, I would say we can get you two to three a week. Okay. But just to start off with for free, man, I'm just going to send you the first three for free, let you quote them. And I kind of want to see how your sales process works. And if you're doing pretty, if you close a deal this week, I want to talk to you about partnering with you. And all these calls will be exclusive to you. This isn't Angie's List or Yelp where we're pimping out these leads to, you know, every other contractor. This will be an exclusive partnership between me and you. Uh, I can send you some case studies to show you the type of numbers we're doing over here. And I can show you the type of leads we're getting for concrete and I know a lot of these concrete, I know you're a concrete guy, but a lot of these concrete guys that I'm talking to are also doing fences and carports. Do you do that as well? Um, yeah. I mean, we typically just sub that out right now. Okay. I got you. Well, I'm going to send you these first three for free. Are you the one that intakes the phone calls or do you have a lady at yeah. the office? No, it's me. It's me. Okay. I got you. All right. I'll, I'll get that sent over to you. And when, can we get on a Zoom call, let's say on Thursday? at the same time today um yeah i mean let's uh let's let's see how these go let's what, 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 see how this first one goes and then let's go from there how's that sound that sounds good that sounds good all right nick well i'll send that over and i'll be speaking with you soon okay cool cool i so i, I like uh the, the cool part about this and for no like i know your situation so like i understand it like marcus is using like the crews and like because you're in that space so, so anyone that doesn't marcus is like making a lot of money actually like closing jobs and subbing it out himself and so he's got that lingo but i do like it because you totally like i know you technically are a contractor but it totally sounds like you are so i feel like people are way more open you don't sound like a lead generator like to me it more sounds like you're a contractor. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm trying to get it to more like like on the second call that I don't do any of this work and I kind of want to show them like, hey, you don't have to do any of this work either. Yeah. Just su sub this out to all these people. Just pay me for the lead generation. I'll yeah, set yeah. it up over here and over here and over here. Yeah, no, that, no, that, was, that was smooth, dude. I, I really like it. Again, my advice would be use the term jobs instead of jobs. Okay. Because people, it's just weird. And and then jobs will get overrun and we'll go to something else and something else. I, I'm telling you people. Absolutely. Jobs. Okay. And then only other thing I would say, because this is what happens, right? Is we have this script and I know it's very basic, right? But it works. And so I love it because, dude, that was totally Marcus. That wasn't Nick. That was you. And I love that. So the only thing I would be careful of is on that first call, remember, we're just selling dinner, not marriage, right? Like we talked about in the module. Okay. So um, be careful that you don't share too much because once you get comfortable, it's super easy to like go, like you're saying, I want to like show this and this, which I get, but it's all <coughs> pieces. This first call is like, your only purpose is to present the pitch, the deal, okay. and get to be like, all right, I'm down to take a couple of these. And it's in exchange for a phone call. That's it. I got you. Okay. Uh, and then last thing is just like I said to Russ, and I think it's, I like how it's like, hey, I want to see your sales process, but don't put it like, hey, if you close a job this week, I'll talk to you because even though you're kind of putting it on them of like, hey, you need to close a job, I'm looking at it, it comes across like if they don't close a job, they don't owe you shit. Okay. Just, I, I would you. just say, hey, I want to check out your sales process if I'm going to be sending you work and see how you handle these customers. Because depend, like, I don't give a shit if they close a job. If they do, great. But if they don't, I'm still, I'm still expecting the call. That's the deal. Right. The deal, I'm giving you leads. You're giving me, the, you're giving me the phone call. Okay. And then the other thing I would do is like at the end where I was like, yeah, let's see how this goes, and I'm kind of in control. I would just kind of pull back and be like, hey. That's cool, but like I, I do want to double check. Like, are you interested in growing? Because if you're not, and you're just gonna ghost me, like, then just let me know right now. Because yeah, works for a company. Like, don't That's let me, don't let it end on me having control. You are the one that has control. Okay, I got you, dude. I like it. It's smooth. Like that sounded like, uh, uh, like very like that. I I feel like that would be that uh, like for me uh, as a contractor that would speak to me because of just the way you're saying it terms you're using it was very like i like what i'm hearing okay yeah so, i need to touch up on your script more though like thank you for pointing that out the leads and versus jobs because I, I do have a bad habit of using that word it's because that's the lingo we use right we're lead generators right we're not job mm -hmm. generators and so like abe just used it everyone used it but i'm telling you just tweak it to jobs or whatever it's much better but yeah only thing i'm i bet is, is like you get in, you learn the script, and you have success. And then all of a sudden, you learn a little more. You hear a pitch, you hear another pitch, and then you start using, you start saying too much. Just remember, right. less is more. More is less. Your job is to get them to the next step, not to sell them on this. Absolutely. Call. Okay, I've got you. Thank you. Okay, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate Talk to you.